The last challenge we're going to look at in this Revolve tutorial is the master challenge in the top left hand corner. So what we're going to do now is create a design okay, that has been created from a single sketch. All right, so it's got a number of different sorts of features, but for one sketch. So if we go and click on plus and click on create part studio, after a few seconds, it will appear. And what we're going to do, first of all, is have a look at this model for reference. So we're going to go up to sketch and let's have a look at this sketch. So I've got a 30 millimeter circle here with two that are 15 either side and 75 from there. So if we just drag this over, let's have a look. Click sketch. OK, N for normal. I'm going to go for C for circle or circle at the top. I'm going to hover over this so it wakes it up. I'm going to click on that and type 30. We go C for circle again or circle at the top. Again, hover over the center. Click on that and dimension that to 15. Click enter to confirm it. Circle again. Okay, from the center, click on that, dimension 15. And we're going to dimension this from the center of the circle to that center point. I think it was 75, if I can remember rightly. Yeah, 75. Okay, like so. So the first thing I did then, if we roll this back, is I did a simple 360, okay, full, okay, revolve of the center. So if we go up to here, because we're in an active sketch, we can go revolve. It's tried to select everything. I don't want it to do that. I just want this bit, okay, this bit here. And we're going to create, okay, what's basically going to be a donut shape. Now, the one thing I've missed off my sketch, okay, which is... I click on the X, I go back into my sketch. I've got to make sure I'm going to put a, a line, okay, which is going to be my axis. So again, go back into here. So that's important not to forget that. Select these two bits again, or these sections, and the axis, we're going to use that. So again, it's going full, 360, all the way around. Click the green tick. So what we've got there then is this donut shape. And what we're going to do next, okay, is turn that sketch back on because it automatically hides it. And I'm going to start revolving some of these. So let's have a look what I did next. So I've not created any new sketches now. We're all we're working with this master sketch. So we're going to go 180, okay, in a single direction. So 180, okay, going backwards like that. So that's going to be quite easy to do. So we're going to go to revolve. This time we're creating. Okay, just this bit here, axis, same axis, but we're going for a one direction this time of 180 degrees. Okay, round the back like that. Okay, if it's going that direction, you can flip it. Okay, and it's merging, okay, with this part because we've got add this time, so we're adding to it. I'm not creating a new part, so that will appear here if I click new. If we click OK, remove, it's saying there's a warning because we're actually not removing anything. OK, all right, and we're not creating an intersect either. So we want to click on add. And that's that one done. So now we've created a full one and now we've created 180 degrees. OK, in a single direction. So two things we've learned now. If we go down this time and edit and we'll look for neat. Top, actually, we'll zoom in first. I've selected the underneath of that circle this time. And I've done a, let's have a look. Okay, two direction, 350 by 190. So we'll keep that open as, re as reference. Okay, come into Revolve here. And we need to select this one underneath. Okay, like so. Axis, same axis. Okay, we go from top. This time we're going to go two directions. And when you do two directions, you've got options here, okay, of controlling, okay, the two directions it starts from. So if we go back to here, so it's 350 and 190. 
happen to type that in. So 350, 190. Now have a quick look at what it's done. Okay, is as you can see, it's offset. So I've got control. Okay, rotating these around where I want that revolve to start and where I want it to end. Okay, from my sketch. And it's still making reference to the sketch. It's still using the same shape. And this time, it's coming up red because we're trying to add, okay, into a body that's already there. I could go new and it could create sort of an intersecting sort of body within or part within that one. But I want to go revolve, okay, and remove it. So go remove. And if we zoom in, you can see we've got this channel now going on there. And I can click tick. So we've created sort of three features now. So we've got the donut. We've got this 180 degrees going there, and now we've done the two directional one. Okay, and what we need to do next is if we save that one and we'll look at the last one. Okay, it's a symmetric one. So let's have a look at what we've actually chosen. So this time, if we have a look here, I've done a cut again, but I've chosen the underneath one. And if we spin this around. Okay, we've gone symmetric. So symmetric using the underneath. So let's go back in here. And we're going to go revolve again. We're going to select this bit of the sketch. Axis. This axis here. We want to remove. And let's have a look what it's doing this time. And go underneath. So we don't want it full. We've done a full, we've done a single direction, we've done two direction this time, we want, okay, symmetric. And as you can see, if I type in 180, what that does, okay, is basically it's going 90 degrees off, this, off the sketch there, and 90 degrees off the sketch there. So of course, if I did 90, it'd be 45, going up 45 that way as well. Okay, so very, very quickly, from a single sketch, We've created this design here where we've got okay a 360 okay a single direction of 180 this one we're controlling the direction of revolve in in two directions and then the one underneath okay is removing that material using revolve okay using symmetric so we've learned quite a lot in a single Okay, design like that. And once again, if you need to edit the original sketch, you could go and edit, edit that. And then all these other features, okay, reference that sketch and they will update automatically from that. Thanks for watching. And if you found this content helpful, please click like and subscribe. And also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.